Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to measure in Adobe Acrobat. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in Adobe Acrobat, I want you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. To measure here in Adobe Acrobat is a simple process. So, if you're using the Adobe Acrobat online, let me tell you right now that if you click on a specific file that you want to measure, anything here, you're not going to be able to use the measure tool. It's only available on the Adobe Acrobat application on your computer. Now, I've quickly switched to the Adobe Acrobat app. And for us to be able to measure that, all we're going to do is go to the left side panel of your dashboard, right? Now here, just go to the view more and enable the measure tool, which is going to be measure objects. It's very easy. You see, this is the measuring tools, all right? Click on measuring tools. You'll have an option here for the snap types, measurement types. And there is going to be like a distance tool at the bottom, like representing the X and the Y and the angle and the distance, scale ratio, precision. For example, we're going to be using this snap tool. You see, whenever I hover the measuring or the snap type tool, there is a corresponding values at the bottom right, which is the distance tool, right? It's very easy, really. As for that, that's it. If you're going for the measurement type though, you see it's a perimeter tool and it gives you these um, um, like uh, distances and uh, values. Click that and there you go, right? Last going to be is the measurement type, which is kind of a similar, it achieves a similar option for you. There you go. Now, on the left side, it's going to be the object data tool. Now, as you can see, using these measurement features, all right, go again to the object data tool. You see, the data tool is kind of uh, missing if you click that, and it, it will revert back again here. You also have the option for the geospatial location we're in. You see, when you go here, it gives like an appropriate kind of measurement. Like, for example, this is going to be 18.63 square inch. This one is like... Uh, that you see that 13.52 inch all right and as if you notice the measurement values are displayed in the measurement toolbar on the document itself right and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one